Uh, thanks very much, Carol and Matt. I'm joined here by two members of the House Financial Services Committee who will have to consider the president's plan and this whole effort to overall financial regulation. Congressman Tom Price of Georgia, Republican. Congressman Jim Hines of Connecticut, a Democrat. Thanks to both of you, gentlemen. Congressman, you. I know you both have votes uh, coming up, so I'm going to get to this quickly. Are you open to what the president's talking about in terms of financial regulation? Are Republicans open to this idea? Well, we, we think there ought to be some revision in the regulatory mechanism that we have right now. But what I hear the president saying is not what the American people want. They're tired of bailouts. We're tired of bailouts. The proposal that the president has put on the table, we believe, will result in continuation of the government bailing out companies across this land. That's not what the American people want. We have also believe that the government ought not be picking winners and losers. And that's exactly what the president has said in his plan, that the government ought to be deciding who wins and who loses. That's not the kind of marketplace that you and I know. Congressman Hines, you come from Wall Street. You worked at Goldman Sachs. Your take on this and then your response to Congressman well, I'm thinking that maybe, thinking that maybe Tom heard a slightly different speech than I did. Look, uh, the president is proposing some very commonsensical things, ideas like we need somebody in Washington keeping an eye on those things out there that could create systemic risks. Nobody ever wants to find their, themselves back where we are today, where we're putting billions of dollars in place uh, to stabilize the financial services sector. And the way to do that is to make sure that risk stays with people who decide to take risk. So, for example, the president is proposing something called retention. Create a complicated security, but you're going to live with it for a while by retaining a piece of it. Uh, the president is proposing, furthermore, that there be a group of people who just keep an eye on things uh, that could create systemic risk. Long-term capital management. We almost forgot about those guys. Lehman Brothers. You know, we don't want to identify them. We don't want to say you're a systemic, systemic risk generator, but we want somebody keeping an eye on them and ultimately saying, hey, you got to stop what you're doing. Yeah, Congress is looking to the Fed to take the lead yeah. in terms of that systemic risk. Yeah. Regulation. I've heard some Republicans say they have problems with that. Problem well, with that. well the fact of the matter is that the solution actually would result in, in oversight of the appropriate regulatory mechanism and make it so that the, these kind of problems don't occur in the future. But you don't have to have this heavy hand of the government, this command and control that this administration and, frankly, this Congress is so enamored with. Now, should it be the Fed? Should it be the Treasury? We believe that the Treasury is probably the site that ought to uh, organize the regulatory mechanism to make certain that we're make, looking at the marketplace and that there aren't problems out there that ought to be addressed. Hines, let me just get your sense right here. Where, where, so how, where are you Democrats going to try and make changes with this? Because it seems like pretty clear the administration knows you all will tinker with this. Sure, and this has nothing to do with command and control. Nobody's proposing that. We're just saying simple, commonsensical things. Like, guess what? The credit default swaps market, which nobody had ever heard of a year ago, but which brought down AIG. We're going to ask that those credit default swaps trade on an exchange. It's not that hard. That's what stocks do. And by the way, the credit default swap market was, you know, multiples the size of the stock market. We're talking about very basic, commonsensical things that have been in place for 60 years around new instruments as they develop and as they uh, become large and risky. It's that simple. I know both of you have to step out for a vote. We appreciate you taking Thanks, time David. out to listen to the president to join us here on Bloomberg. Jim Himes, uh, Congressman Tom Price as well. Appreciate Thanks it. to both of you. And uh, Carol and Matt, we'll send it back to you in, uh, in New York.